back to um, a, a term you mentioned that we as humans are different to machines in that we have emotions. Now, um, it's, it's a personal interest of mine is I'm, I'm very positive about the future, uh, but in the meantime, some of the implications of what's happening with social media and digital technologies and, you know, people will walk down the street, they will not look at nature, they've got their earphones on, uh, they actually are looking at their phone, uh, they're actually a danger to everyone else walking on the same path. Uh, people have been killed just walking up the street because they've got their head buried in their phone, which is very sad, but that, the reality is, so there's a negative aspect to digital tech, which is your last phase. I'd be interested in your thoughts on what do you think are the emotional and mental health issues uh, that are rising out of this? Because we're seeing in uh, the Western world the rise of a lot more mental health issues. Anxiety is rife, um, suicide is rising, uh, and it's a personal um, interest of mine based upon what's happened to me and not personally for myself but uh, my partner um, it was uh, so because she passed away from suicide and two years ago that. and for me it's a personal interest and for me it's basically how can we use what can we do as society in this digital age to actually make sure that we have both got the technology to actually help people that are struggling um, and they're entrepreneurs because being an entrepreneur is a tough gig, um, you know, it's a lot of pain. Um, what do you see as some of the implications of the digital age on mental health? I'm sure you'd have some interesting insights around that. And um, so I'd be interested in your thoughts. Yeah. And uh, first of all, I'm, I'm sorry to hear of your loss there, my friend. Um, I, um, uh, I don't see it so much as digital, but more as cyber. It's, it's more the, the cyber culture that creates the the issues um certainly the um uh, the narcissism that can rise i think has has some some impact social media I, one of the best things that i do for my mental health jeff is once or twice a year i just i go on a fast i just leave facebook i leave social media i get away from it and i just i just I literally take the icon off my phone, move it to a back part, a back page, and take off notifications of it. So I don't even know it's there's anything happening. Yep. Um, and and digital back, detox. Yeah, Did you, yep. and, and it's it's one of the most beautiful things for me because I don't realize how much the the phone is a part of my life. So I'm constantly looking. Oh, there we go. Okay, you know another. And I get in these. Uh, I get in these uh, conversations, if you will, on, on social media, just because I, I'm a curious person by nature. So I like to kind of hear how people think about things. And sometimes, uh, you know, social media is not exactly the most uh, conducive or productive place if you want to have a conversation. Most people, unfortunately, today, at least on Facebook, tend to want to just uh, yell at each other or, yep. or uh, preach, a, preach a narrative, and, and they really don't want to listen. And, and I, I kind of grew up, I'm a, you know, I have my views. So you, know, you have your views. We all have views. But I grew up in, in a world that's much different. And I think one of the things that social media has done for our younger generation is it's really made a very, it's, it's created a very divisive, narcissistic uh, hole. And, you know, if you're, we're, we're all fighting for that space of truth. I, I think the deep down thing that we all want, we, what is the truth here? That's what we're looking for. And social media is such a cesspool of, of narratives mm. and false narratives often that we, it's hard to tell what is true. We see pictures that look, oh, wow, that looks real. That video looks real. And then you find out it's completely concocted. Uh, it's, it's. So it does have a lot of, of, of social implications. It has a lot of, of mental health uh, implications. Mm. And for those who, um, who struggle uh, with self-esteem, uh, with, um, with, with some of their, their own awareness of who they are, it, it, can, it can really start to, to bite in a big way and, and, and hurt. And um, I feel for those people, you know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's, it's, I think part of the challenge we have as human beings is this evolution and actually a revolution has been so quick that we as humans are struggling to adapt to it. 
Yes. So how do we use social media properly? How do we use our phones properly? How do we use communi global communication properly that is healthy? Um, and, and you know what? I actually turn off. I don't have any notifications from my social media on my phone. They are all off. Hmm. Um, and I very rarely go and check my Facebook uh, news you know, feed. Um, there's a great quote I came upon a friend of mine. She shared it with me about a year ago. And I think it's something we've got to be really aware of, especially when we go and check our Facebook feed and Instagram feed, is that we as human beings judge the inside of ourselves by the outside of others. Mm. Mm. And what I mean by that is we look at the polished personas of Instagram and Facebook and we say, aren't they having fabulous lives? But behind that persona, the real person sits and we as all as humans, uh, you know, struggle, yeah. you know, some struggle more than others. And uh, behind that pretty face, that smiling face is often a lot of pain. And I think, you know, we've got to be so careful in that we don't dive into the stream and saying everyone's having a fabulous life and I'm having a shit life. I, yeah. I think that's the reality that we've got to understand. And I think for me, I actually control I really do not go into my Facebook stream very often. Um, and I think I've got a fairly you know, solid self-esteem, a good self-esteem. But uh, I just notice my feelings when I watch these perfect personas turn up, you know, polished to perfection. It's not real. And I think that's the thing we're still learning as human beings to actually deal with this digital revolution. And it's going to take us a generation or two to actually work out how we deal with it with correct etiquette, to actually still be beautiful human beings that hug and hold and look after each other, rather yeah. than shout and scream, um, and how dare you have a different opinion to me. I, I think we are still learning as humans to deal with this digital, digital age. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Jeff. I, I'm a positive person on all this. And I think that uh, if people like you and I just keep, um, in a positive way, presenting the ideas, saying, you know, we, we truly can not just get along, but we can be productive and, and find some solutions because that's what the world needs today is solutions. Uh, we need to find, um, we need to find that. I, I think truth is part of that, but also we just need to find uh, integrity in our, um, in our journeys. You know, what yeah. is, what is real? What's, what's, what's integrity? What's that mean? What's truth? Yep. You know, that's an epitaph of a great life right there. You know, if you can yep. find truth and integrity and respect, you know, validation. Yep. yep. And what I want to share here is uh, real stories. And uh, we've, we've heard some from you today and basically your passion. And it's great to hear that.